Good morning, Arizona starts right now. Right now at six o'clock. It gets kind of scary. I, I think I want to say we don't know what's going to happen in the end. All eyes on the border. President Trump announcing new tariffs on Mexico. The huge impact it could have on Arizona's economy. President Donald Trump says he will now impose new tariffs on every item imported from Mexico in an attempt to try to curb immigration. So he says starting June the 10th, the United States will impose a 5% tariff on all goods coming into our country from Mexico. Uh, the, this will obviously have a huge impact on the entire country's economy, but specifically Arizona. Erin e. LeBeau joining us this morning, standing by with uh, what it will likely mean. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, did you know during the winter months that most of our fruits and vegetables actually come from Mexico? Yeah, I learned that this morning. We're talking about everything from the grapes you see here, tomatoes, melons, and of course, everyone's favorite, the O avocado. We are here at Willie I. Tuli Produce in Phoenix, a major distributor throughout the state, 40 years in business, fruits and veggies. He is well-versed and knowledgeable about tariffs. Thank now, you. you pointed out something very interesting about our need to have certain foods year round and that's why we get them from other places. Well sure here in the United States we definitely want fresh fruits and vegetables at our local supermarkets year round and because of that we are forced to rely on other countries to supply us especially out here in the West and that's why we have the Mexican growing season during the winter months. That's how we get our fresh fruits and vegetables during the winter. We rely on Mexico um, shipping the stuff into into the United States. Now June 10th if this tariff is is imposed, what would that mean for you and then the people that you service, the customers, the restaurants, the schools? Well, we're really, really lucky as far as fresh fruits and vegetables go because the Mexican growing season, the winter growing season, is now coming to an end. Okay. Starting next month in June, most of the stuff that we're consuming is going to be grown out of California. So we dodged a big bullet because the prices will be lower for the domestic stuff that we grow here in the United States, and we're not going to be relying on Mexico to furnish us with the uh, with the stuff that we want in there. So that's a good thing. Avocados, though, are going to be a little bit higher because 85% of the avocados that are consumed in the United okay. States are coming from Mexico. So look for a little spike in that, but you know what? We're going to dodge the bullet and uh, it's not going to hit us for a while. So hopefully these tariffs don't persist after October because that's when we will start seeing more of the impact on the goods coming in from Mexico. But as you know, food is a necessity. Many things come in from Mexico, but this is something we need. So you can expect this to be a direct impact on people and their pockets. I'll send it back to you. Erin, thank you.